You are listening to The Creative Imposter, episode 136. I feel like an imposter. Yes, on a repeated and ongoing basis, hence the name and premise of this podcast and my podcast company, The Creative Imposter Studios. But there are moments when this feeling is worse than usual. And that was the entire month of March 2022. I'm Andrea Klender. And in case you're keeping track, the last episode of this show was back in January. And I promised you a continuation of the story that I started telling you. And that is still coming but not today. And I don't know when exactly. Sure, I've taken breaks with my podcast before, some planned, some unexpected, but this one is hitting me particularly hard because in March, one of my podcasting mentors, Elsie Escobar, organized an incredible campaign called hashtag claim pod parody. It's a lot of strange words, I know. But it was designed to highlight and promote representation of women and non-binary leaders in the podcasting industry. She partnered with Libsyn, my podcast hosting company, and she podcasts her podcasting company, along with various apps like Castro, my favorite listening app for iOS, and some wonderful publications. My face, name, show, company was featured front and center along with so many other talented creators, coaches, editors, and business owners, which should feel wonderful. And on some level, it does. But it also felt terrible because I haven't released any new content anywhere in what feels like ages. I shared a few posts on Instagram and Facebook about the campaign. I think I may have forgotten LinkedIn. But other than that, I did absolutely nothing with this visibility opportunity. Why? Well, I've been head down in the weeds of my own business and honestly, my personal life, trying to make some space at the roots of what isn't working why I feel like I work all the time and still struggle with money, why I find it so difficult to prioritize my own creative expression, why I'm exhausted and dissatisfied so much of the time, why I can't fully sit back and enjoy the incredible results my team and I help our clients to achieve with their podcasts, why my body is expressing physical distress signals that doctors can only surmise are the result of stress, why massages, healthy foods, acupuncture, meditation, exercise, and sauna visits aren't doing the trick. The work in the garden right now looks like hiring multiple new contractors into my business, improving and documenting processes, creating more efficient systems, raising prices, and changing my service model, restarting therapy, appointments with new medical practitioners, revisiting why I stopped doing yoga during the pandemic when it was so good for my body, having difficult conversations, re-examining my economic situation and asking for help, etc., You'll notice a lot of my verbs start with the prefix re, which indicates looking backward or doing over. And in a lot of cases, I sort of feel like I'm retreating rather than moving forward. Meanwhile, I've been producing multiple shows for my incredible clients, unexpectedly becoming the co-host of one of those shows, teaching two after-school podcasting programs for my amazing high school students, and I feel myself falling behind on my timelines, promises, and responsibilities. There have been many days the last couple months where I have been lacking focus, wanting to sleep for half a day or more, yelling at or at least firmly telling myself in my own brain to get the fuck up and make things happen. It's like I just need a minute to gather my thoughts, rally my resources, and reemerge at some point with some newfound fresh energy from some 
where. This is the work. I know. I've also been reading and hearing about on many podcasts, especially during the month of March, Women's History Month, how women are holding a heavy burden between work and home life, how the emotional load is disproportionate in our society. I've been digging deep into personal finance and how women live longer, have less economic power, and pay higher rates for things like health care and insurance. I've been seeing the ways in which we are less visible and less well compensated than our male counterparts, hence the whole point of Elsie's hashtag claim pod parody campaign. On March 8th, my students wished me Happy International Women's Day, and it triggered me. I asked them why they think we need International Women's Day, and one student said, because a hundred years ago, women were not treated equally. Another student said, yeah, and we've come a long way since then. Things are a lot better now. And I said, a hundred years ago? Do you really think they're equal now? I don't mean to blame the way that I am personally feeling on society, culture, or economics. Clearly, I make my own decisions, I dig my own holes, and I do my best to create my own solutions. I don't mean to complain because there is so much about my work and my life that I am proud of and that I truly love. And I am not sharing any of this with you because I'm fishing for reassurance. I think the lesson that I am learning right now that I want to share with you is that yes, Sometimes leadership looks like confidence, organization, having your shit together and boldly advancing. It looks like visibility, content creation, and an active social media feed. And sometimes leadership is invisible. It's messy. It's retreating and admitting you don't know the way ahead yet. So for the moment, I'm on my knees in the dirt with my head down and the sun on my back. There will be a lot of rainy days and that's okay. I think after a while, it'll all be worth it. If you're there too, I see you. Let's share some lemonade in the garden when it's ready. Before we part ways, if you are a podcaster or aspiring podcaster, I'd love to invite you to hang out with me May 26th through 29th in Orlando at PodFest. Podcasting conferences are one of my favorite ways to get re-inspired, and this one is going to be a good one. I'll be offering an interactive session called Be the Voice of Your Brand Lessons from the Theater, and our technical director, Edwin Ruiz, will be part of a panel on live streaming. Right now, you can get 20% off your PodFest pass with my promo code PODCASTENVY, or you can follow the link in the show notes. However, if you are a creative imposter listener whom I have never met in person before, I may actually have a nearly free pass for you. Email me, Andrea at thecreativeimposter.com ASAP, seriously, don't wait, and say that you want to meet me at PodFest. I have a discount code for one lucky listener, which makes your creator pass only $12. So email me right away and see if that pass is still available. Thank you to Edwin Ruiz for the audio mix on this episode, to Jovia Armstrong for our theme music, to all of my team members, especially the new ones at the Creative Imposter Studios for helping me make these necessary shifts. And thank you for listening. This week, I'm inviting you to add my students' show, Power Your Story, to your podcast listening queue. We have some new episodes coming that I am so proud of them for creating, especially around current events and culture. I have to tell you that no matter how beaten down I'm feeling at the moment, these student podcasters seriously give me hope for our collective future. 